Hello everyone. In this video I will try to explain how we can integrate our application with Cakelog with OS2 protocol and use at the same time user federation to get users from Active Directory. I have already integrated all of them. In this topology we see Grafana part 2 but I will not show right now integration and use part of the Grafana because the video will be very big and do that I will se create separate video. But before starting, I want to say all code files and configuration change which I have used, I will push to the Git repository and right inside of the description of the YouTube video, you will find all used information from there. So just imagine from internet, I got the GitHub URL where already inside of Vagrant created Active Directory with tons of users. I will write inside of README, of course, in documentation too, you will get it, you, you can get it from there too. I created historically docker container inside of my linux which works in if i will show you it is cake log inside of topology which we use right now I, I didn't want to spend time to deploy it via operator and the sources of my laptop it's not huge to use both of them together actually but grafana works inside of kubernetes active director works inside of vagrant at the same time python application will work inside of pure Linux, if I will show you. It is actually Python code, which works with the IP address 10.100, 100, 100, with the port 8000. Kclock itself works with 8080 port, with the same IP address where it works Python application. So it doesn't matter actually. Between them must have network access to see each other, that's it. And I want to do points of the username which I am using here. As we see, all these users present inside of the Active Directory which I got from GitHub. We have users inside of admin role and we have user inside of viewer role just to test it. In Python app, which we use right now, we have endpoints admin and restricted. Only user which have role admin can have access to slash admin and slash restricted. Any other user cannot access, so I will simulate. Of course, in first integration, authentication by default will work, but to catch each user with their roles to split access to our endpoints, I simulated two of these endpoints, like a slash admin and restricted. All the users inside of admin role can get access, so I will separate it to another page. We understand right now all this flow, and then I will switch to k clock part to show what I've configured there. We have Romulan Realm, as we see. We have User Federation, which I've integrated with Active Directory, which works inside of Vagrant. If I will press Test button, it shows it works. At the same time, I will show integration, really, communication between them, have or not. I mean, authentication to the Active Directory part. It works, we see. So I will switch to the client's part C client which I have configured for Python application. It is default configuration, just the main point we needed this endpoint for valid redirect URLs to our application, which I have configured there, of course, for both of them. And any configurations, main page, home URL, which I have created like as endpoint inside of my application too. Any other client authentication by default, standard flow direct access grants by default comes. I didn't change anything here. So the main the big point which I want to mention, if you want to split and catch users roles, so do that we need inside of client scopes in dedicated, dedicated assigned type which by default configured client scope uh, inside of client itself, press here and I have used here mapper which by default present inside of Kclock user realm role, but it, it, so it, it helps to us to return inside of JSON realm access roles the name of the roles which present. So by default they ha have three default roles and if we will add another role to user which I will show you, uh, we, we can see in, even in, in the log output of the Python I will show you, like as value to this key of course you will see, but we need activate add ID token and user info to be present there, or, or we cannot catch it. So, if I will switch to real roles, which I have created admin and viewer, 
inside of admin we have user with name to so it means to and username can have access to slash admin and restricted page tools but viewer role cannot so you, which we, if you will use air cock shot uh, this user cannot go to this page i will switch to this page even with clear page to show you our application listen mode and i do log out login back with the admin user so i will copy password this user as we see we in the slash admin endpoint if i will press to this link it is slash restricted it works so for this user actually it is admin user both of endpoints works if i will do log out and login back with the simple user aircock shot and try to access to slash admin we don't have an access slash restricted we don't have an access and actually it works if i will press log out it will bring us to main page where we need to log in but i want to show you part where we catch it so from as i said before realm roles we can see it is default role but at the same time we can catch admin so when we did log out and login back with the aircock shout username we can see inside of realm roles we can see viewer role which we catch and with help of this we catch which endpoint can be accessible for which username but i want i don't want to go in deep code side i will push it as i said before uh, even from name of uh, names uh, function names which i have used uh, you can understand for what they used i hope it will be useful thank you for watching